Hey everyone, James Niggemeyer here. Thank you for tuning back into my YouTube channel. Today I want to do a video for my playlist, New Tackle and Trends. And while this isn't necessarily a new tackle item, it is new to the scene in the scheme of bass fishing baits. This is a bait that if you like to fish structure in the summertime, deep water spots, points, humps, ledges, drop-offs, and rock piles. This is gonna be a bait that you're gonna to wanna to know about if you don't already know about it. But I'm gonna go over some rigging type uh, ideas and ways in which it's fished that I think make it more unique. In my opinion, when it comes to summertime structure fishing, you wanna have a few different uh, tools out on the deck. A structure spoon, a football jig, a deep diving crankbait, a swim bait on a jig head. You know, you want to have some different things you can kind of put through the paces, run through the motions, and see what the fish want. Sometimes they kind of get tired of looking at your football jig. So you want to have another item that you can throw out there and possibly a new look in which it's delivered. So with that, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and drop a comment down below because I'd love to hear from you. So the bait that I'm talking about is a giant finesse worm. These giant straight tail finesse worms like this have been growing in popularity over the last few years as an alternative bait to say your 10 and 12 inch ribbon style worms that are just so popular when you're fishing offshore spots in the summertime. I'm not saying don't throw your ribbon tails, I'm saying keep those right next to your straight tail worms like this. And the way that they're rigging them also makes it unique because we like to throw our ribbon tails with, you know, a standard Texas rig with a three eighths or half ounce bullet weight and, you know, like a four or five aught hook on there. And the way that guys are rigging it is with jig heads. A Strike King actually came out with a Strike King Tour Grade Mag Jig Head that's made for your bigger soft plastics when you want to present them on offshore uh, structures. It's got one of those centering pins right there so you can just thread that on, you know, get it nice and straight. It's got a giant hook here. It looks like about a six aught hook, but it's a big hook, but the gauge isn't too big for what you're going to want to do with, you know, say 14 to 20 pound test fluorocarbon on uh, the end of a long cast. And the way that looks is just like this. The beauty of this presentation is it's going to sit in the nose down type or it's going to fall in that nose down profile. Now this is a lot of plastic and it's not going to stay standing up by any means because plastic after a while it's going to fall like that. As you drag it over the cover you're going to get that kind of stand up style head design as it falls and as it comes over cover it's going to come descend back to the bottom like that. So this is a real popular way. There's a lot of different jig heads, magnum shaky heads and different things like that. Guys are throwing these bigger worms. So if you haven't already tried something like this, you definitely wanna uh, put this in the, in the lineup, in the arsenal. Another thing that guys are doing is they're throwing their wobble heads and their jointed structure heads. Like this is a striking jointed structure head and you're, but guys are throwing their other wobble head, you know, with a football profile or whatever but these jointed style jig heads like this, and they're rigging them up on, this is actually an eight inch, striking eight inch bullworm, and they're rigging it up like that, and they're slow reeling it. As this comes into contact with cover, it's creating some action, and there's some mobility in the fact that it's jointed as opposed to, you know, your standard jig head like this. So you have two different profiles, two different actions, a way to present these, and guys are catching fish on them. I had a guy trip yesterday, and we, uh, um, caught fish on, actually my client caught fish on them. So definitely the big worm on a jig head is something you ought to look at if you're not already doing that. So this is just a quick video to kind of give you some ideas on something. If you're not currently already doing, you're definitely gonna wanna have these rigged up and ready on the bow of your boat so that you can show the fish something a little bit different and add a couple more bites and a couple more catches to your day's total. And we all want that because that's fun and that's why we do it. Appreciate you guys watching these videos. I hope you like them. Hope you find a nugget in each one of them, something that can help you catch more fish. Until next time, thanks for watching and good fishing.